I'm about to go put my chickens to bed. I'm gonna have Willow come with me. Uh, someone got into some paint today, didn't you? The other side's worse. Here. She's like, no. I am aware this is bad, very aware. Look at that guilty look. I let them out early today. I normally try to let them out like the last maybe hour or two of sunlight, but they were out for the large majority of the day since I was cleaning out their coops. But um, I'm gonna go check on them. We brought the chicks out earlier today, so I'm gonna check on them. And then just make sure that all the ladies and gentlemen are in their respective areas. All right, so I'm gonna start by closing this door. Move this rock. All right, let's check the chicks. All right, so I just checked the chicks. It is pitch black in there, so there's no way for you to see what I'm seeing, but they're all huddled up underneath their heat plate, which is fantastic that they um, are all settled in and cozy and warm. All right, so next we're gonna do this coop and then this coop. Now, I think about only five of them go in this one, our original five, um, which is all of our older girls. And then in this one, um, honestly, I have no idea how many normal is in there. And then we have ones that refuse to go in a coop and I have, I have tried everything. So if you, is there anyone out there whose chickens refuse to go in their coop and roost outside? Um, I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. No one's over there. Oh, there's some eggs. All right. All these chickens. Hi, Luna. Are you coming to say hello? All right. What are you doing? Excuse me, you're supposed to be in bed. I woke them up. I'm sorry, ladies. There's our rooster out here with his girlfriends. Hello, I did count in this one, there was 14 and that one was six and there's five out here, so that's perfect. Excuse me, go back to bed, please. All right, so I just came back out of the run. So I went ahead and locked that up. All of the coop doors are locked and everyone is accounted for, which is fantastic. Putting chickens to bed is super easy. The only time I really do that is if I let them out. If they um, are just stuck in the run, um, if I don't let them free range, then I don't bother to do this step of checking on them because the likelihood of them getting out is very low. Now granted, they have a tendency to get out sometimes, so um, now I don't know how they do it. There has to be like, I don't know. I think most, most of the time is if I go and get eggs and then don't see them sneak past me. But every couple weeks I have a, a rogue chicken get out. But um, I haven't dealt, again, I think I've said this a couple times, I haven't dealt with any chickens um getting eaten i did have that one chicken that was gone for like months and i legitimately thought thought that chicken got eaten but it didn't somehow so thank you jesus because <laughs> i really thought that my chicken was dead but now i have more green eggs um which is awesome because those are my favorite they don't taste any different they just are just aesthetic i guess now that the weather's getting warmer i do plan on letting the chickens out more often um, like I did say before, I've been trying to let them out like the last like hour or two before it gets dark out because I really want to help with ticks. Um, with my children playing outside a lot, I don't want to have to worry about ticks. I know I've said this before too. I just don't want my chickens going into my neighbor's yards. So I um, have to be very limited with the amount of time and um, allowance that I let them to go out. So. I just don't want them to be venturing. All right, but I need to go ahead and go give my dog a bath now that I put the kids to bed. So thank you so much for checking on my chickens with me and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for following along with us and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and have a blessed rest of your week. Bye.